I went to TFCon, but I didn't see Happy Accident. Happy Review. YOLO Park Hasbro Transformers 1 D16 Megatron. Yes, YOLO Park Bot Build. I'm gonna go look for that knee pad. Got another two for one for you. Power up. Good to yo. Previously on Happy Accident, Elita 1, Cogless, Orion Pax, Cogless, link below. On today's episode, we'll build a 6 inch and a big ol' 8 incher. Here go the agenda. A very quick unboxing. Sort the pieces. Build some bots. Check out the accessories. Look over the character designs. Do some dynamic posing. Comparisons with other popular figures, touch on key points of articulation, and give my final thoughts. If you like Transformers, smash that like, and let's yo! Yolo Park Transformers 1 figures come in three sizes, cogless, cogged, and final form. These will be Bro Series, most likely featuring diecast. Begin! Big things come in small packages, let's start with D16, cogless. D16 figure parts laid out. I like how the pieces are packaged. There's three bags. You get left side parts, right side, and center. Metallic finish on the armor plating is very nice. Boy, it picks up light reflections and all that really well. Love this head sculpt. Reminds me of the comics. I went into greater build detail in the last video, so we don't need to do that here. And here he is, Cogless D16. I knew this figure was going to be beautiful. Extremely strong Robocop vibes here in the design. Let's check out the accessories. We get one 6 inch articulated action figure. Megatronus Insignia is a very nice touch. Includes one cog, which can be placed in the chest. We get a left and right fist. These socket in and out better than Alita and Orion Pax. Includes one left and right pointing hand. No weapons, but we get a flight pack, and it's the same one included with the other figures in the wave. This one is sure to show fingerprints, so before photography, I recommend a lint-free cloth. And now, the star of the show, D16 slash Megatron Cogged. This is the 8-inch Build-A-Figure. Here's a look at the parts count. In my experience with Yolo Park, there's going to be some pre-assembled pieces here. Got some cool articulation going on here in the foot. And look at that, we got a double knee in that leg. Double jointed elbow. Extra articulation in the shoulder so his armor plates can get up out the way. Ball jointed socket. Once we get the bicep in there, we'll have some uh, rotation. We've got a pivot at the stem for ab crunch. And we've got side to side teapot. I believe that's also on a ball. Hip skirts can get up and out of the way slightly. And we've got uh, ball joints here on the thighs. All right, let's get this guy assembled. <laughs> Assembly complete. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, YOLO Park in the house. Uh oh. I'm missing the knee. Oh no. Back, I'm gonna go look for that knee pad. I didn't find a knee pad yet, but look, I found Prime's fist. Woo woo! I didn't find the knee pad, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this video out. I think I'm gonna send it back um, and mark it as a missing a piece because I, I really want that knee pad. Accessories. All right, I'm gonna call this a level two fusion cannon and it attaches to the arm. I did heat that up a little bit to make that uh, go in a little better. We've got uh, left and right fist. I also heated these up off screen, highly recommended. Otherwise they're a bit tight. Uh, I'm gonna call this a level one fusion cannon. 
<laughs> it's a little bud. And then we've got these gesture hands here left and right. They're really cool. And uh, that's his backpack. Damn, that's dope. I think this is my pose for the shelf. Hey, if you're digging the video, tap that like button. It really helped me out. And consider subscribing if you're not already. But if you are, thanks. You're the best. Now that I've got both D16 versions built, let's get some body shots. And then we'll hit some poses. Uh, first of all, I do want to apologize. I'm not able to use uh, some of the cool music that I like to use anymore because they've been all flagged for copyright now. I think they're under uh, new ownership, so the music's going to be a little cheesy and there's going to be a little less of it to like, get all that sorted. Looking good, aren't they? Man, I love the physique and the proportions on these. Oh man, all right, let's hit some poses. Comparison time here at the Driftwood Lodge. This is the Cogless Orion Pax, link below for that video, and the Cogless Elita 1. Three of the four Cogless bots by Yolo Park, Hasbro Studio Series Orion Pax, Guilty or Innocent, Joy Toy 118 Scale Donatello, Studio Series Rumble, Marvel Legends Ghost Rider, Jada Toys Mega Man. That is going to bring us to my final thoughts, my happy thoughts. Woo! These are shiny. I love it. I love, 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 love metallic finish. I'm going to go with uh, Yolo Park. Knocked it out the park on these two. You know, they're action figures. You build them. It's a lot of fun. They, they have a feel of a model kit. Um, so a little bit of fragility here and there. But I'm not worried about anything breaking. If anything, I'm worried about... Oh, I just dropped a box. <laughs> if anything about, you know, worried about losing a piece. But... Um, you know, I'm, I'm really good about keeping my stuff uh, in order <laughs> most of the time. It's, it's when I'm playing with them when they pop off, but like that foot. <laughs> As you can see, uh, the articulation is all built around ball joints for the most part. You know, um, the double knee is great. The double elbow is awesome. It looks like somebody got aspirations. I do apologize. I had every intention of uh, putting the larger cogged D16 in that chair, uh, but I did send him back. He's already on his way back so I can get a replacement with the knee. This character design, man, it rocks it, and it really makes me want to, especially the back. He, he looks kind of like a like a Hoth Trooper, right? It's like a Hoth Trooper and Robocop had a baby. Seriously, though, the sculpting on these, oh my gosh, the attention to detail. Oh, it's great. So the backpack, yeah, that comes apart there. Maybe this is a reuse for the final form. Um, and I want to show you this. So the toe, there's actually a, a toe articulation. Um, and then, uh, you know, that, that ankle armor, you know, bend, so we got the toe. Uh, if you bend it down too far, it will knock the bottom plate of the foot out, so be mindful there. Here is that hinge in action, how uh, the shoulder armor gets up out the way. Fantastic. And there's that missing knee. Be mindful of that one. Overall, very happy with these two. Congratulations, Yolo Park. I'm glad that they're staying in the game, and they seem like they're gaining in popularity, you know, and uh, that, that's great to see. I don't know how long this company's been around, but um, they've got some talent there at that staff, so... Good job, and uh, looking forward to more. Oh, wow. Did you say there are more? They make toys of me, Amazon. Here I come. Fine. All my guys are dead. Hi. I hope you enjoy this dub of me talking over where I would normally uh, be saying other things and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> the music I got pre-recorded in this one has been copyright struck. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to have to deal with that, and I'm going to have to make a new outro. So, yeah, round. And uh, consider subscribing if you're not already. And if you are, thanks. You're the best. Around. And if you're still watching, uh, then you probably know that I put little things at the end like this. Shout out to Figure Fever and Disciple 860.